12 championship game and never lost. Talk about the desire, maybe even pressure to continue that streak. Yeah, we're just going to do what we do every single day. We're going to come out, we're going to prepare. A lot of respect for Houston and, and their team and what they've done. Um, we're going to aim to be at our best tomorrow and, and not really worry about what's happened before. Just control what we can, be the best version of ourselves tomorrow night. What uh, does stand out to you when you think about Houston and the two games you guys played? Yeah, the, the, the defensive effort on both sides, uh, the pride that each team and programs have, um, the connectedness of, of the teams. The just, I mean, you know that everything is going to take your best effort. If, if you don't, defensively, every single possession, you'll get exposed. So it's important that we keep our focus on one possession at a time, being at our best. Uh, it's important that offensively we continue to play as we have these last couple nights. We really move the ball and share the ball. Um, those are going to be extremely important things against a, a really good Houston team. What, what went through your mind when you saw Milan hit that first three? Yeah, I was pretty excited because it's something you know we've been talking about. We tell them how aggressive we wanted to be. I'm usually not overly demonstrative on the sideline, but I may or may have not had my hand up in there as soon as he let it go because I knew it was good. I could see just how he got into that shot and his natural rhythm. So uh, Milan's a terrific player. Our guys are continuing to look for him, and, and I think now him seeing it go through a few times tonight will really be a, a positive for him and for us as we move forward. Was it maybe a, can I, a positive that Rob got into foul trouble and it got Hassan more engaged, and he had a really good game tonight? Well, for Hassan, you know, he knew we were really counting on him, and he's, you know, it, a lot of guys are, but Hassan right now is, is dealing with some stuff where he's, you know, bump, bumps and bruises, banged up a little bit, playing through some things. So I really appreciate him for that. And then the, to have the resolve to, to step up and play the way he did on both ends. We need so much effort from him. He left it on the court. And, man, that lob when he went up and got that thing at 12 feet uh, was just a, a huge play for us. That, that's worth far more than two points. When Keyshawn's playing like he is, I know Baylor with its zone and stuff, how hard does it make you guys to defend when he can do like he has against Baylor? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, with, with Keyshawn and Tamer, we have two point guards out there that can make plays the way they can. What happens is you're not putting so much pressure on one. You know, like one guy's making a play, the other guy can, you know, move off the ball uh, as well. And so those guys have really developed a great synergy together and a great rhythm. And, and uh, Keyshawn's elevated his confidence as the year's gone on. We've seen him continue to grow up, mature, have poise, leadership, command games. So uh, just really proud of him. Trey, you guys, uh, Trey talked about coming into the tournament morning an opportunity to get revenge on the three teams you guys lost to, K-State, Baylor, and obviously now Houston. What kind of went into putting that plan together for the Big 12 tournament and now obviously having an opportunity to achieve it? Well, I think... You know, when you go into a tournament setting, you just got to look at it one game at a time, right? So um, certainly as we drew, you know, as Kansas State won the game with Texas and came off the game that, you know, didn't love how we played and knew we could have done better. So our guys were excited about that game. And then obviously tonight, when you're playing a really, really good Baylor team. We were 0.5 seconds away from having a chance to win at their place. And the last team that we hadn't beat this year, it's a neat accomplishment for our guys to be able to say we beat every team in the league when you're in the best league in the country. And then obviously, you know, the game tomorrow night, you're playing arguably the best team in America. And, and a team that, even though they've had some key injuries, has continued to have guys step up and play at a really high level. So um, I don't know that there's a whole lot of calculation or a plan ahead of time. It's really more just keep your head down, keep doing the hard work, and then focus on what's right in front of you and be at your best when the time calls. How much have you watched them? Because they're just killing people. Like, what is, what is going on with them right now? Yeah, I mean, they have, obviously their culture over time, their guys believe, their toughness. They've got Shed, who's a coach on the floor. Um, as new bodies have entered into the lineup and the rotation, those guys have stepped up with a tremendous sense of pride. Um, they go on runs every game. You see 10-0, 12-0. They have these runs where teams just, you know, break down. And I think they do such a good job of keeping their focus on the next possession and playing as hard as they can. They're very well coached, very well schooled. So um, some of the same things we try to do are going to be really important that we do them better tomorrow night. When Keyshawn, when you recruited him, I guess, again, to come here, um, he said one of the biggest selling points to him was just seeing the crowd at Hilton. And then last night in front of he said, I can't believe we have more fans in Kansas State here. What would you describe the way he's kind of taken to this place and um, 
you know, he's ascending new heights. Yeah, uh, I mean, Keyshawn is exactly what we look for as a cyclone. Someone has tremendous character, uh, that cares about their development, wants to get better on the court, off the court, in the classroom. Somebody that's a winner and cares about people. And I think, hopefully for our fans, they see more every single day of what a special young man he is and how fortunate we are to have him in our program and the gratitude that he has to our fan base to be able to play in front of the crowds at Hilton or to come down here to Hilton South and have those fans. Uh, it's a winning combination. And um, I'm just, I'm thrilled for him and so proud of him because he's worked so hard for everything that's come his way. Defensively for Houston, do you feel like there's a unit, bigs or guards that makes them so difficult? over the other, I guess. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're different strengths with each group, whether they have two bigs or whether they play four guard lineup, there's different strengths, whether it's guarding the dribble better or getting two guys to the basketball and trying to be disruptive. Um, they're consistent across the board. You don't see any fall off. Even now, when they play four guard lineups, you see those guards on the offensive glass, the same way the bigs were when they had multiple bigs in their rotation. So I think teams, you get to this point in the year and, and you kind of have a standard that you're going to play at and credit to coach Sampson, his staff and those players, because they play at that standard, regardless of who's on the court. To that end, I mean, some people are going to look at that game tomorrow and say, what's the point? Neither of these teams are going to be able to help themselves in the NCAA tournament. But would your response to that be for what it means to you guys and what a high level game at this time of year can mean? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a huge opportunity. I mean, the amount of pride that we have in our program and that we work for every single day, you have an opportunity like this in front of us to win a championship. I mean, man, that's that's what we do this for, to win championships. And to, to have a chance to do it against a team in a program that we respect to the level that we respect Houston and what they've accomplished this year. I mean, this game is a huge magnitude game, one that I know both teams are going to get up for, and we're going to challenge our guys to be at our very best tomorrow night. How many Big 12 championship games is this for you now? One. This is the first one, <laughs> yep. not as an assistant either? Nope. Wow, what's that going to mean to leading this team back into a game like this? Yeah, no, it's an unbelievable opportunity, like I said. One one game at a time, but now you got the championship. The magnitude of this game is huge. We want it for our, our fans. We want it for those who've played before us. Our young men are, you know, want to come out and show what they can do, so we'll work to be at our best. When you are building your defense from an outsider's perspective who doesn't know ball like you do, how much of your defensive structure did you take from Houston? Because it seems like it's fairly similar in some aspects. I mean, as, as we put together our plan, you certainly want to be mindful of teams that do it successfully. There's obviously a lot of parallels in what they do defensively and what we do. I have tremendous respect for Coach Sampson, their program, how hard they play. So from that vantage point, certainly that's you know what we want to do. But yet... We've got to look at our personnel, our culture, our team, and what we can be the best at and do it how we do it. So even though there's parallels, there's things that are different, we're just trying to put our guys in the best position to do the things that they naturally do well as often as possible.